Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a text maxing effect in Photoshop. And if you're looking to learn Photoshop and take it to another level, I do have a Photoshop course on Skillshare. I will put a link to that in the description below. So without much ado, let's get started. So once you bring in your image into Photoshop, the first thing we are going to do is to create a background. So you want to go under your adjustment layers and you want to go ahead and choose solid color. Now I want to move this layer to the bottom of my image, pull it down. When you see the blue activation, release your mouse. Now we want to make a copy of our subject. So click on the layer, hold down command J if you are on the Mac and control J if you are on the windows. Now we're going to turn off the top image and we're going to work with the bottom image. We want to take off the background of our bottom image using the quick action in Photoshop. Now, if you have Adobe Photoshop 2020 and 2021, you have the option of using quick action. Now, if you don't and you have an older version of Photoshop, you have to go, um, you have to go under object selection tool and use the quick action to take off your background. So we're going to click on our image and we want to go under our properties and click on quick action. And you see that it gives you remove background. So we want to click on that and Photoshop will basically cut out the background for us. Now there are a few areas that maybe we can zoom in quickly, click on your poly lasso tool, just zoom in. And we want to basically cut out this area using the lasso tool and we're going to make this very quick and easy and i'm going to make sure i'm on my thumbnail pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black black height so we are just going to click on command d to d select pick up your lasso tool and we are going to go ahead and do the same thing in this area just to clean it up for the purpose of what we are doing. Um, I'm just going to pick up my brush and repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and first of all, turn off this layer, double click, and we are going to create almost like a cyan. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay, turn back on. So the next thing we are going to do is to type in our text. So go to your tools and pick up your type tool and you don't want to pick up your horizontal type tool. You want to pick up your vertical type tool. So click on that and notice I'm using the pop in font and I'm going to flip my foreground. So I have it white to type in the word bold and I'm going to use my move tool and I'm just going to go ahead and scale it and set it right there. And notice that it's showing on the bottom of my subject. We want it to be on the top. So I'm going to move that layer and put it right in between the two layers. So you see that my bold is right on top of my subject. And I'm going to go ahead to double click to accept. Now, the next thing that you need to do is click on the layer max for your subject. Pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black, black height. So we want to erase any part of the image in our text. So using your left brackets or your right brackets, make your brush bigger or smaller and just begin to paint to hide every portion of your subject that is seen in your text. Hold down your command, make a selection of your text. We want to create an outline around our text. So you want to go to select and then choose modify expand. Now it all depends on how much expansion you want, but for the purposes of this exercise, we are going to make our expansion six. I'm going to click. Okay. We want to click on the layer max thumbnail of our subject. Pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black. 
we want to go ahead and also erase this portion of our subject and I'm going to hold down command D to deselect so now we have this cool effect around our subject so the next step is to turn back on our top image now we want to clip that to our text so hold down your options and click in between the line of your text and your image and basically it infuses that on top of your text if you're enjoying this tutorial give this video a thumbs up and this is a very cool effect now you can go ahead and add a little bit more of an interest you can double click on your text and add a drop shadow and we are just going to add a little bit of a nice effect now we can change our blend mode for our shadow we are going to make that white you can go ahead to click OK if you enjoy this Photoshop tutorial on text maxing effect in Photoshop please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next Photoshop tutorial. Bye, y'all.